every day is different and we learn something every day. There's very little known about a lot of aspects of the husbandry and the behaviour and the ecology of these animals. There are probably more misconceptions about snakes than any other animal I've worked with. They, can, they occur quite quickly, they don't actually know what the cause is of it in venom, but they tend to occur quite quickly and can be very severe. Mm. They thought it was from a spin effects. Apparently they'd sit down for 10 minutes and wait, and if the, if the scratch congealed and healed over. They were caught in vineyard netting and was brought into us very, very dehydrated and not well at all. And um, as you can see by her condition, she's been eating well and to put weight on, she lives roughly. And her behaviour is cool. She's just looking for somewhere to hide. And she's not no way of detecting the heat from your legs or your body. She doesn't have heat pits. So she, she thinks she, you know, she's working on the emu approach there. We can't see her, so um, and she can't see us, so we can't see her. Now, pretty much with him, he's right in the middle of his breeding season. Do you reckon she's got the female with him? And he's straight with her? Yep. Okay. Under the Occupational Health and Safety Regulations in Australia, if a person is going to be in a situation in their workplace where they are likely to encounter a snake, then they need to be trained appropriately how to deal with that situation. And so obviously you don't trip over it. <coughs> and then being very careful that you're not stepping on the snake. The students find it very difficult to go yeah, to they do. stop a bolting snake. Yep. If you get in front of one, front of them, it might stand up. Do the others inside where it's a bit warmer. Good. Come on. And hold the hand and step back. Okay, now lock it down. Remember to get your hand on it. Yeah, I was like, it's like she's going to screw it if I do right. that. <laughs> Australia's got some of the most venomous snakes in the world here and there are a lot of areas in Australia, mainly remote areas, where people do come across snakes and there's a discrepancy between the policies which, um, which state not to touch the snake and the difficulties if, for instance, a snake gets into a building or into a, a confined workspace. So people need to be trained and appropriately qualified to remove those snakes in those situations. In Australia, there are very few fatalities from snake bites, only about one to three, um, or in the case of a really massive envenomation. It, can, um, it, can it doesn't have to be as tight at all. It's just, it's just holding that in place to make sure that there's no movement. And um, it enables you to hold the snake and the tube in one hand. Uh, I'm going to let her come along the tube a fair way. I actually wanted to come small for her. So we want it a few times when you're licking the glass if you like. Unfortunately, there is still the mentality of pulling out a shovel, and we see quite a lot of that. But um, even after an hour and a half snake training session, I find that that mentality will be changed around totally. It's a case of people needing to understand the, the way the animals really behave as opposed to the emotional reactions that they've learned as children and hung on to. You're milking into it, but it's a better way for you to see it. And tell me if you need me to move to a different position. I'm studying zoology, so if I wanted to further into herpetology and studies related to reptiles, I think this would be a good background knowledge to have to further my skills. I work as an environmental advisor, which puts me in a lot of fairly remote locations, um, often with oil and gas and mining industries. Um, and there are a number of situations, whether it's trenching or servicing wellheads or that sort of thing, where personnel may encounter venomous snakes, which will then need to be removed. I've been keeping uh, reptiles for about 20 years and I uh, haven't had a lot to do with the venomous stuff so uh, doing the course with Sonia was a good chance to get some hands-on experience with venomous stuff uh, and I'd like to further my knowledge in that. It's nice to get hands-on experience with a snake and uh, I feel a lot more comfortable now in the presence of a snake. There's no, 
They're not aggressive animals. They're, you know, you respect them, they respect you. I don't think the belly's have got anything in them that's programmed to. Mm. And the horse trade. I'm slowly turning around towards the camera because it's quite good from the front. <laughs>